Hello, my name is Camo Garcia, and I will be presenting my research presentation titled Survey of Plant Families in Laredo, Texas, Webb County. To begin with, Webb County is, in the, is located in South Texas, which is in the South Texas Plains. South Texas is also known as the Brush County country, which includes mesquite, Texas wild olive, and huizachi tree. Other well-known plants here also are cacti, shrubs, and grasses. Because society is always evolving, the ecosystem evolves with it. For example, the brush used to be controlled by wildfires. However, because of overgrazing, the, wild, the wildfires co didn't continue anymore. And now the brush has overtaken South Texas. What can be gained from conducting a survey? When we conduct a survey, we can gain perspective on what families live in South Texas. And also because there's a sparse amount of surveys for South Texas, we can gain a lot more data and more change. We can see more change. It can also help us manage and preserve the wildlife here in South Texas. Surveys are classified by taxonomy, which is defined as the classification of living and extinct organisms, i.e. biological classification. Family classification is the botanical features, and I will be using family classification for my survey because of the, because of the botanical features, which include plant shape, color, size, or texture. In the image you can see here is includes many different species of the family group Agavaceae. These Agavaceae all have slender long leaves which thorns on the sides. However, some of these vary size and color, yet they're all in the same family. For my research questions, they are, which families can be found specifically in Webb County and what type of environment are these families found in? Some of the families that can be found in Webb County include Poeshe, which are grasses, agavaceae, which include agave, cactaceae, which are cacti, and asteraceae, which are daisies or flowers. What type of environment are these families found in? Webb County has a semi-arid environment, which is dry, high temperatures, and mild winters. There is rain, but there is not much rain, so families like cacti grow very well here. For my methods, I will be conducting a survey in North Central Park, Laredo, Texas. I will be using the Rajam Quadrant Method, which I will get a satellite view map and divide the map into quadrants estimated by five by five meters per square. I'll be picking 15 of these squares by random with Excel spreadsheet. Once I have the quadrants ready, when I get to North Central Park, I will be getting string and marking these locations. Once I have the locations ready, I will identify the plants by family and I will be photographing, describing, and cataloging these plants. I would like to thank Leslie Solis, Luisa Villarreal, Dr. Nora Garza, and I, will be like, I would like to thank the Hispanic Funding Institute for this meeting. That is all for my presentation. Thank you for listening.